Whenever it got to pick number five, everybody was intrigued on what was going to happen. The conversation was five, six are going to be quarterbacks. And then a couple of days before the draft, it came out Miami was thinking offensive tackle. They weren't even thinking quarterback. How were you preparing going into five and six, your pick at six? What were your, did, do you run through like if this happens, then this? Because there was talks that Redskins were trying to get trade out of there. There was people that were trying to get up to three. Do you run through all those situations in your head when you're sitting at six and is p- potentially getting a face of your franchise oh yeah yeah you're you're thinking like a gm right now those two weeks going into the draft all you're thinking about is scenarios what could happen and if this happens what would we do so um it literally probably every rumor i heard i went through my head of how would we handle this if this happened um now the whole miami taking a tackle at three um maybe they really were i i just didn't believe that one but i don't really know you know so you you kind of make you make plans, you, you, you talk with your head coach, you talk with your personnel staff about, hey, if this happens, how would we do this? Uh, we talk about trading up and trading down in different situations. You go through every single situation. So when you're on the clock, um, with that clock ticking down and making your pick, at that point, you're not discussing what you want to do. You've already decided. If Justin Herbert goes five to Miami, is Tua a Los Angeles Charger? Yeah, we, we, we felt great about both guys. Well, actually, we felt great about all three quarterbacks that went in the top six. So... Um, all three are going to be really good players in this league. And that it's a comforting factor to know. I mean, hopefully we don't pick six very often. Yeah, um, true. If we do, I won't be making very many picks here. So <laughs> if you're going to pick this high um, and, and, and there's a fran- potential down the road franchise quarterback there that you like, you have to take them. And we were lucky to have some quarterbacks there in this draft that were really good players. Let's mm-hmm. talk about Tua real quick. I don't want to go backwards, but I, I have to ask you this question because I'm not 100% sure how many people were in a position to actually draft Tua that got a chance to evaluate him. How big was the injuries thing for you? How big was the injury concern for you? And who did you reach out to to be like, you know what, he'll be okay in the NFL? Yeah, you know, it's, uh, it's certainly a concern. I mean, it, it can't not be. Um, so the, the good thing is, thank God we had the combine before this pandemic really broke out. Um, so we got a physical on every single player there, including Tua. We got a very good physical there. Had a good feeling for, for what was going on. Um, his, his agents kept in touch with all the teams, I think, that had interest as far as all the updates uh, from different doctors across the country. Um, I had our doctors reach out to his, his doctors, and, and I also reached out to some independent doctors just asking about this injury because the type of injury he had, we don't see very often in football. You know, knees and shoulders and ankles we see those a lot but but the type of injury he had wasn't always predictable so yes a lot of medical work with 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 doctors and trainers um and it came down to the fact that yeah there's some concern there but but uh we think he'd be okay that's awesome to hear